Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today for Vlogmas, I figured I would do my everyday morning routine, what I do for skincare and just everyday makeup when I wanna get ready pretty quickly just to go run my regular errands. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna share with you what I do for skincare in the morning. I didn't do much to my hair, I just threw it up in a bun, but I included that in here as well. And what I do when I want to look put together but not take a lot of time and not do a whole lot with the eyes. So it's really simple and it's pretty casual and vlog style. I didn't want to do anything really fancy. I just wanted you guys to be with me and see what I do regularly. I don't do anything to myself until I get the kids ready in the morning. So um, the kids are fed and happy and just hanging out and playing. So I came in here real quick to take about 20 minutes to myself and get ready really quick. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna wash my face first. And um, I use the Purity Made Simple Cleanser. I have a big one in my shower, but I just like to keep a little one on my um, vanity by my sink. And this is just one of the travel sized bottles that I just refill. So this is my favorite cleanser. It's the cleanser that I use every morning and every night. I double cleanse at night because I also use this to take off my makeup. It takes off all of my eyeliner, all of my mascara, everything, and it doesn't irritate my skin in any way. I typically don't exfoliate in the morning because I exfoliate at night. The only time I exfoliate in the mornings is if I didn't exfoliate the night before, but I did, so I am not doing it tonight. Um, my moisturizer is the Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with SPF 15, and I put a couple drops of the Tarte Maracuja Oil in there. I put the Maracuja Oil in my morning and my nighttime moisturizers. It just adds a little bit of extra hydration and um, really soothes my skin. My skin is normal to dry, but right now, especially around my nose, I'm pretty dry. Just because of the weather, it keeps going from really cold. Like we had a few really icy days and we got our first snow in like 13 years. Um, I did vlog that day. It was really fun. The kids had a great time, but because the weather has been like all over the place, my skin is feeling it. So especially around my nose area, because when the weather is really finicky like that, my allergies go out of whack, so my nose has been running a little bit, so my nose is just a little chafed. Um, I also like to put on some lip balm. This is the Sarah Hap Lip Slip. Such a good lip balm. It kind of looks like a gloss on your lips. My lips have been a little bit chapped too, so I need to keep those hydrated. So, um, oh, I almost forgot. I need to put on my eye cream because I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup here in just a second. Um, this is the Clinique All About Eyes Rich. It's a really good eye moisturizer, and this bottle lasts me forever because you only need the tiniest amount, and um, it's nice and thick, so it really goes a long way. I'm gonna let that sink in for a little bit, and I'm gonna do something with this hair before I do my makeup. Now, um, my hair, this is like third day hair, and I'm gonna give it a break today. I'm not doing anything. I just have to go run, pick up my groceries, and run by Target, so I'm gonna wear it up today and give it a break from the heat. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this Batiste dry shampoo in my hair. I'm gonna rub that in. Batiste is my favorite. It's and I really like it too because it does add some texture and some grit to your hair. So on the days that I'm gonna wear it up in a bun, it's um, not super sleek and it um, helps it be a little bit more messy, which I like. And it gives it some volume too. So I really need to wash my hair tonight though because it's pretty dirty. I was supposed to wash it last night, but I was lazy and I didn't do it. And then I'm gonna take one of these, I don't know, I don't remember what they're called. But they look like the little, um, like wristbands and keychains that people used to use in the 90s, but it does a really good job with my hair. So I'm just not doing anything special today. I'm just gonna throw a messy bun on top of the head and call it a day. And there we have it. I'll probably pull out a few more pieces um, before I leave the house, but this is fine for now. I'm not trying to get all fancy today. Okay, I'm gonna do something really simple on the face today. I'm gonna start with primer, and I'm using my Too Faced Hangover RX primer just because my face is just a little bit dry, like I said earlier. 
So I'm just gonna apply this all over. So yeah, today, um, all we're doing is after this, we gotta run by the post office. I gotta drop off a couple packages. I sold a few things on eBay and I have to send back um, Kaysen's Kindle Fire to Amazon to have them either fix it or replace it because something's going on with the charging port and it's really loose and none of the chargers stay in it. So I gotta send that back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Illuminate Cream. I've only got a little bit left in this, so I'm just trying to, um, to use it up. But um, after we go and drop off those packages, I've gotta run by Target because Kaysen is doing a book exchange for Christmas in his class at school and the book is due tomorrow and I haven't picked one up yet. So we gotta go to Target and um, pick up a book for him to take for school. And then I ordered my groceries. So I have to go and pick them up. And that's really all we're doing today. I'll probably do some chores. I like to do the bulk of my chores on Mondays. I do my laundry and stuff on Sundays. And then I do my household chores on Mondays. So I've almost used all of this uh, CC cream from IT. Um, it's the one with, it's the Illuminate one. Um, I've had both this one and the original, and I will say I like the original better. It wears better. The Illuminate one gets really greasy and gross throughout the day, and it doesn't last as long as the original. And I really don't think they even need an Illuminate one because I feel like the original CC cream from IT, it has a really like pretty, somewhat dewy finish already. So um, I'm glad I tried both of them, but I do prefer the regular CC formula versus the Illuminate. And then I'm gonna take some of my Tarte Shape Tape and conceal. I also put it on my eyelids and that acts as my eyeshadow primer, but I'm not doing any eyeshadow today. I'm just gonna blend this in. The um, Tarte Shape Tape is so good. This is my second tube, but I got a different color this time. I got it in the shade Light and it's a, it's a nice color for me. I have Fair as well, but sometimes it looks a little too pasty under my eyes and can kind of make me look a little bit dry, but this color is um, much better for me and I don't get that nasty kind of dry and flaky look. Okay, now I'm going to set my concealer and I'm using the Too Faced Loose Powder. This is just the Peach Perfect. Um, I had used or gone through a few tubs of the Lori, <laughs> Lori, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, but I really wanted to try this one from Too Faced because I heard it was pretty good. And I don't have any complaints. I mean, I think it's really nice. It's got a softer look than the Laura Mercier one does. If you've watched any reviews on this powder, um, it really does taste like peaches if you get it in your mouth. Uh, which I pretty much do every time just because it's a loose powder and it just floats around in the air. But, um... It's a good powder. It keeps my concealer on all day and it doesn't move around or anything. So I really have no complaints. It, it's a nice powder. It's softer, not as heavy as the Laura Mercier one is, but I still really like the Laura Mercier one. So I don't, I can't really tell you which one I prefer. The main difference I think is this one, it's the smell and the taste and the Laura Mercier one doesn't smell or taste like anything. I'm going to set the CC cream with my powder. This is the Benefit Hello Flawless powder. I've gone through so many of these. This is in the shade uh, Never Settle Petal. I'm just gonna dust this all over. This is a really nice powder. I also like the Bare Minerals Bare Pro, I think is what it is. That one's a really good one too, um, but just like any powder, depending on what foundation I'm using, I like a certain powder better. But I kind of just rotate between these. Like I have this one set out at home on my vanity and I have the Bare Minerals Bare Pro for touch-ups in my purse at all times. So I like both of them, they both work really well. Let's go ahead and do brows. I'll probably just speed right through this, but I kind of just use a bunch of different stuff for my brows and I just rotate. Um, today I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown, but I also have the brow powder and the brow pomade. So um, I kind of just rotate between all of them, but I'm just gonna do my brows real quick and I'll see you guys in a sec. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little contour. I'm using the Tarte Clay Play Palette. Uh, I know that they just came out with a new contour kit. I think it's like the Park Avenue contour kit. I don't know the correct name, but I'm just going to, well, you can't see. 
I'm gonna mix um, these two shades here. These are super pigmented, so I also have to tap off a lot of the excess, but they have, Tarte has a new contour palette, and it looks really pretty, but I don't have any plans to get it because I have a couple contour palettes already, and it looks, some of the colors look similar to the colors in this Clay Play palette, so I don't have any plans to get the new contour kit that I have that they have out now but if you guys have that I want to know if it's good because I haven't seen anybody review it yet so um let me know if you guys have that because I'm curious it looks like it would be really nice but since I have this one I don't have any plans to get the other I'm gonna add a little contour to my nose I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer now and I'm gonna do the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer I'm just gonna lightly dust that everywhere just to add a little bit of sheen and a little bit of glow. For blush, I'm going to use one from Hourglass. This is in Mood Exposure. It's such a pretty color. I really like the Hourglass blushes. They're so, so good. I've got a few different colors and I asked for a few more for Christmas, so kind of trying to fill the collection with hourglass blushes because they're some of the best. And for highlight, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Glow Kit, the Sugar Glow Kit, and I'm going to take the shade Starburst. This is such a nice color. It's my favorite one in this palette. It's just like really soft and it's not gritty. Like some of the um, Anastasia highlighters can be. This one's nice and smooth and it doesn't create any sort of texture, which who wouldn't appreciate that? Okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm not doing any eyeshadow today. We are just gonna do the face, throw on some mascara, and set the brows, and then I'm done. So I always use this first. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. It's amazing if you don't like wearing falsies i like to put this on underneath my mascara and you don't need a lot of this you just need like one little layer it can get a little bit clumpy if you're not careful like when you go to put on your mascara afterwards and then i don't wait for it to dry at all because i find that my lashes do look clumpy if i let it dry so while it's still wet i'm gonna add my mascara this is another l'oreal voluminous mascara and it's the lash paradise it's really, really good, but this tube is on like its final leg. It's definitely getting dried out, but it makes your lashes look so pretty and long and fluffy. It's, uh, I think my favorite drugstore mascara. Not to mention this mascara gives some high-end mascaras a run for their money because it performs like one. It doesn't budge or smudge and it doesn't flake either. It's just really nice. Mascara's done, so I'm gonna set my brows. This is one of the final steps, so we're almost done. This is the Anastasia Brow Gel. What color is this? In brunette, um, I told you guys I would update you and let you guys know how I liked this because um, I got this during the Sephora VIB sale because they, I guess, were out of the Gimme Brow from Benefit. But I have to say my favorite is definitely still the Benefit Gimme Brow. So when this is done, I'm going to repurchase that one again. I just cannot quit the Gimme Brow. I think it's the best, best brow gel. I like them better than Anastasia. And then the last thing that I like to do is Spray Fix Plus just because it kind of seals everything in and it doesn't make me look too powdery. Let that dry. Oh, I want to put on some gloss. I'm not going to do any lipstick today because my lips are a little bit chapped, so I'm going to use my Dior gloss. This is in number 257 Fantasy. I really like this gloss. It's really pretty. It's just like a pretty little pearly peachy pink. It's really light, and so it doesn't add a whole lot of color, but it's got like a really fine shimmer in it, and it's not sticky at all. So that's gonna be it guys. That is my morning routine for skincare and my just quick everyday makeup for running errands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for Vlogmas today. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. My next video is going to be on my holiday makeup and it's a collab with someone that I just met here on YouTube. So 
Be sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that video. And I will see you guys again very soon.